there goes a dialogue in the movie there are some stories that are scary to listen there are some stories that are scary to watch and then there are some stories that are scary to even think about it i'd say there are some movies that will engage and enthrall you while watching it there are some movies that you will remember even after watching and then there are some movies that you will want to watch again and again still not satisfying your quench it becomes the epitome in itself let's see which category will this film fall into and discuss it later in kgf the screenplay was given more importance than the story itself it revolved around showcasing and elevating the heroism giving goosebump moments throughout the movie it's not an easy task to do that because heroism needs justification the fight should have a very good emotional reason and the action choreography should amaze us and then with tight narrative should astonish us the more all of this happens the more the movie will make its way to our heart just imagine with this kind of great hero elevation screenplay you also have an amazing story it's like adding brain to your brawn it's like combining the mighty size and jaw strength of t-rex with the smarts and speed of velociraptor oh we know how it looks like it looks like the indominus rex this cinema is where kgf meets bahubali i leave it to your imagination that the juggernaut this combo will become I think it may be difficult for our masterclass director Rajmouli to match this heroic elevations that Prashant Neel does. For Arun example, in RRR Ar- 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 after the 2000 people monstrous Indivela Mandir for fight introduction of Ramcharan, all that the superior officer had to say was that he scares me more. And even when Ramcharan volunteers to capture Bean, all that the guy had to say while recommending for the job is that he can vouch for him. NTR's Bean had an heroic elevating scene with another character introduced beam by trying to induce fear into the british but even the most talked about interval episode that drove shiver down the spine of the british officers was hardly spoken about or talked to or even referred to again any time in the movie and you will notice that none of the other characters were ever scared of either ram or beam of course that wasn't the part of the narrative style or possibly even needed for rrr but i suppose you get my point it's not that rajmouli ain't capable of it but it's just that it's not his natural narrative style prashant sneel's style of heroic elevations of a hero is, is by having other characters fearing the hero at merely hearing about him or even thinking about him again and again that fear isn't like normal kind of fear imagine of a fear where we have the villain who actually drives fear into other high powered government officials and in whose able hands having a sniper rifle while focusing on the target happens to notice a tattoo on the hand and the mere thought that it could be the hero makes him profusely sweat sending shivers to his spine reducing his capacity as a shooter that he gives up on his target to just run away in despair that is the level of fear used for the extraordinary heroic elevations along with some astonishing action choreography all the coming together creating an arresting experience he showed how if a dinosaur decides to enter the war the war will just be one sided a one person demolition squad all of this is an experience just by the interval itself the second half is the start to an epic tale when prithviraj mentioned in his interviews that this movie has the same level of political drama as in game of thrones i could reason that he might be saying all of this simply to hype up the film as part of the promotions but boy he was certainly correct the complexity and the elaboration of kansar world building was showcased in the movie if game of thrones had one dothraki tribe all sex here are such tribes in kansar if black panther had a wakanda as a cloaked country kansar is a hidden country that was wiped out of the global map so that no one knows if it is a myth or real there was proper detailing of all the tribes their way of life their politics governance structure and their constitution along with continuing the extraordinary heroism elevating our overall watching experience there is so much to say how do i put it do you remember the breathtaking scene of the handcuff devasena and balala devas court room in bahubali there is one such mind blowing scene even in this movie there is another intricate reveal in the climax along with vardaraja mannar also sharing the name he gave his friend deva all of which was very engaging action drama Even after saying so much what is left to say about Prashant Neel as i mentioned in my first trailer song uh, release trailer review simply put Prashant Neel is as good as Rajmouli they just can't be better praised for Prashant Neel Shruti Hasan in her limited role performed decently her amazement in learning about the story and the curiosity to know more is transferred to us speaking our curiosity as well to wait for the next part Bobby Sima as Barava played very important role anything more in talking about this role may reveal about the movie and i would want you to experience everything while you watch the movie 
ஸ்ரீஆர் ரெட்டி ஆல்சோ பிளேட் அ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கிரிட்டிகல் அண்ட் பவர்ஃபுல் ரோல் இன் த மூவி ஜக்பத் பாபு அண்ட் ஈஸ்வரி ஹேட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அண்ட் இன்டென்ஸ் ரோல் விச் தே பெர்ஃபார்ம் டீசென்ட்லி ஜஸ்ட் அஸ் இன் கேம் ஆஃப் த்ரோன்ஸ் தெர் ஆர் லாட் ஆஃப் ட்ரைப்ஸ் ஸோ இட் மே பி டிஃபிகல்ட் டு ரிமெம்பர் ஆல் ஆஃப் தெம் அண்ட் தேர் இஸ் நோ நீட் டு ரிமெம்பர் ஆல் ஆஃப் தம் எஸ் வெல் பட் ஆல் ஆஃப் தம் டிட் தேர் ரோல் டு பெர்ஃபெக்ஷன் எக்ஸப் ஃபார் ஒன் கேரக்டர் விச் வாஸ் சோ இரிட்டேட்டிங் எராட்டிக் அண்ட் சைக்காட்டிக் தட் வில் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் யூ பட் தட் ரோல் இஸ் ஆல்சோ அண்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ரோல் நவ் கமிங் டு பிருத்விராஜ் சுகுமாரன் ஹூ எசென்ஷியலி லிவ்ட் இன் த ரோல் ஆஃப் வரதராஜ மன்னார் ஹி பிராட் அ சர்டன் லெவல் ஆஃப் டிக்னிட்டி அண்ட் பவர் டு தட் கேரக்டர் டிஸ்பைட் நாட் ஹேவிங் எ லார்ஜ்லி ஹீரோயிக் ரோல் மோர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட்லி வென் ஷேரிங் த ஸ்கிரீன் வித் பிரபாஸ் ஹூ ஹேஸ் த டவரிங் ஸ்கிரீன் பிரசன்ஸ் one might get easily overshadowed but forget about getting overshadowed he managed to make his own presence felt as an equal now coming to our main man prabhas we all know that he excels in action genre as his cutout is made for such films he looks really good in this movie the way he was showcased was unprecedented and he slipped into the skin of the role so easily even if the hero characterization was to be like a dinosaur one has to believe it the way prabhas performed in the action episodes it wasn't like prabhas is as ferocious as a dinosaur rather it was telling us that a dinosaur can be as ferocious as prabhas this role and his performance look like it almost overshadowed bahubali nothing can but it came really close at the start of my review i said we will discuss about the category in which this film would fall do i need to say anything more after saying so much about the film but still let me say it the film has gone beyond being an epitome it has made itself a page in history this is a must watch cinema and after watching once even if we try to stop you you will definitely want to watch at least once more if you like the review show your love by liking the video spread the love by sharing it with your friends family and bless us by subscribing to the channel so that we can keep meeting often thank you